So WordPress or Kajabi, are you at that stage in your online business journey where you're trying to decide which platform to build your business on? Is it going to be WordPress or Kajabi or some other platform? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down the pros and cons of WordPress and of Kajabi. And by the end of this video, you'll have an informed decision which one would suit you better and your online business. So full disclosure, right off the bat, I am a Kajabi user. I have been using Kajabi for about five years now, but there's a reason for that and we'll get into that. But there's also a reason that why over 40% of the internet is based on WordPress and we'll also get into that. So stick around if you want to learn more about Kajabi and WordPress. And I'm just going to dive straight on over into my computer and show you around. So first off, it's really important to understand what WordPress is and what Kajabi is. So WordPress has a couple of domains. It's wordpress.org and wordpress.com. So these are two very different platforms. One is like wordpress.org is an open source platform that powers a web. So this is mainly for um, content creation or actually people who know coding or developers who can actually download any themes, patterns, plugins, mobiles, and actually work with uh, online partners. So any developers or coders will actually be using this platform to grow other people's business. If you're not a coder and not a developer, and you just want to use WordPress to build out your site, then WordPress.com is for you. And this is the paid version. The other version is free. And as you can see, it does actually give you a really good idea of what websites, web pages you can actually create. And there is a reason why over 40%, I think it's like 43, 44% of the, of the entire uh, web base is using WordPress. So have a look down here. These are all the different layouts you can use. And it's really important to understand that WordPress is first and foremost a hosting platform and a web page builder. Now, the main difference between WordPress and Kajabi, we will get into it, but you do need all sorts of different plugins for your WordPress site. So you may be already on WordPress and looking to move over to Kajabi, or you may be looking to start on WordPress. But watch this video first, because I have done quite a few comparison videos uh, like this one. So it gives you a good idea of what you can do with WordPress. And you can actually set up your online business using WordPress and a lot of people have. But looking at Kajabi, Kajabi is the opposite. Rather than building out um, a WordPress site with loads of plugins, Kajabi is known as the all-in-one solution. So you are going to one company that has everything in that company. So all-in-one tools. Uh, you don't need to be tech savvy. It's more a bit of a drag and drop. WordPress, you might need a bit of coding. Uh, you might need to know how to plug in these extra tools. But Kajabi is, is mainly for courses, uh, digital products, uh, the online course creator and community builder. You can start with a 14 day free trial. And again, have a look down what Kajabi offer. It's online courses, coaching, podcasts, memberships and communities. There's so much you can do with Kajabi and you can manage payments, contacts, analytics, whereas WordPress, you will have to have different plugins to have all, the, all of these different functionalities. And again, with Kajabi, you can grow websites just like WordPress uh, pages. You have an email function, funnels, and also a mobile app. So there will be a difference in the price. And as you can see, there, there are quite a few payment plans. You can either, let's have a look at the pay monthly and pay annually. So you can get started for free. So I've used both platforms in the past, or I, I use Kajabi today, but I've used WordPress in the past. And I found it to be a little bit clunky, but it was super, super affordable to start. So free or nine, nine euros. I'm currently in Europe, 18 euros, 40 and 70. And then Kajabi pricing is in dollars, 149, 199 and 399. So you can tell straight off the bat that it's more affordable, but it's entirely up to you what situation you are in and how many different extensions and plugins you will need. So I'm not going to say Kajabi is cheaper in the long run. It may be cheaper in the long run. It all depends on how many you're going to be using. So I would really encourage you to do your maths and try and add up, say, if you went for the premium, 18 euros or however much that is in your home country, 
And then if you need uh, email solutions, if you need checkout solutions, if you need to host a course, have a look at what they all cost you and then add those up and actually have a look at it over a year's period and then just to see how much that compares with Kajabi. And you might be surprised that Kajabi could actually be a bit cheaper or it may not be, but it's entirely down to you. What I like to do when I'm looking at um, comparing platforms, each have pros and cons. Again, it is entirely down to you. But what I like to do is I like to go over to Trustpilot and have a look and see what people are saying. Again, WordPress is huge. It is a big, big company and there are lots of people using it. So on Trustpilot, it's an independent review system. There are 3,288 reviews and WordPress is on a 2.1, which is classed as poor. So I would read through some of these, especially the twos, threes, and four star reviews. Look at those critical reviews and actually decide whether they're throwaway comments or actually they're onto something here. And this might be a red flag for you. And I would always look at Kajabi or any platform that I was doing a comparison with. And Kajabi is 4.6 and it's classed as excellent. And this is probably one of the reasons why I have stayed with Kajabi. Their customer support is amazing. You can build courses, memberships, communities. It has everything under one roof. And just to note that the, the support with Kajabi, you're actually getting everything that Kajabi offer. A support with WordPress, you could sign up to WordPress and then have all these extensions or plugins. Then if you wanted help with that, if you go to WordPress, they're a third party plugin. So they can't actually help with everything that you build out with WordPress. So that's a word of warning there. So if you did go with WordPress, these are some of the platforms that you may want to add on and they will cost. Some of them have got free versions, some of them will cost. So for example, MailChimp. MailChimp is a email service provider so that you may need to plug into your WordPress site to actually email or capture email. Lead pages uh, for building out landing pages and capturing email and actually building sales pages to convert people to the purchase. Teachable, it may be something that you're actually putting an online course together or a community. This will host that online community, uh, an online course and host those videos. And Samcart, this could be something, it's a payment provider to actually capture the payments from the, the people that you're actually serving and that are joining your community. So they're just four of the platforms and there may be a lot more. It all depends how you're setting up your online business. But with all of these comparisons, it's entirely down to you. If you are just setting up your, your website, like a, a shop storefront, and you just want a, a homepage with a couple of call to action buttons or even just your contact details, then it might be good to set up for WordPress. If you are actually wanting to build an online business with courses, memberships, and communities, then I would recommend to start on Kajabi if you can afford it. If you are looking to move from WordPress to Kajabi, actually get some help and support on that because there are ways of doing this right and ways of doing it wrong. There is no native upload. Uh, if you have lots of blog posts on WordPress, maybe I would leave those there for now and then try out Kajabi because you can also host your blogs on Kajabi. But I have seen some people do that and do it wrong and actually lose a lot of ranking on Google and you could get put in the Google sandbox. But there are uh, other people that I have seen do that manually and go through the process and actually transfer over those blog posts and actually still keep that domain authority. So there we have it. Hopefully that makes sense and you've got a better idea of what Kajabi is and what WordPress is. And look, it's so individual, depending on where you are in your online journey, um, would determine which one is better for you. And I, I, if you are interested in Kajabi, I have a load of Kajabi how-to videos. Uh, just go and search this channel for those now. Um, and look, I am a Kajabi partner, I am a Kajabi fan, and I could get you an extended 30-day free trial. If you wanted to test out Kajabi for free, head to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi. And yes, this is an affiliate link, so it just means that if you continue to be a paying customer of Kajabi, part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. But as a thank you, if you sign up to Kajabi with my link, timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi, I'm gonna give you immediate access to an online course that I've created, Kajabi Unboxed, where I walk and talk you through how to set up your Kajabi account in the right way to scale. And if you continue to be a paying customer with Kajabi, I'm gonna grant you access to another 
course, just email me Tim at timpeakman.com and I'll give you access to my sales page templates, which are the exact templates and themes I use for this business. As a cool feature, you can just download them from this product and upload them into your Kajabi and use them as a start for 10 to build out your sales pages and your landing pages. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully, hopefully you found value in this video and you're a little bit closer to making that decision of which platform to use. Leave me a comment below if you are using Kajabi or if you are using WordPress and what you like and dislike about it. They both have their pros and cons and I look forward to seeing you on another video real soon.